some 330 million kilometers away? Whoa. That's rather absurd when you're talking about remote controlling any sort of spacecraft. Just think yeah. of the raw numbers involved here. Put that in and perspective that to us. What is, what is the size of our galaxy? Well, that's about 100 million light years. So we're talking about orders of magnitude difference. Okay. Even 200 million miles, 330 uh, th uh, million kilometers away is considered a near-Earth asteroid in this case. And it's still one of the furthest places that mankind has ever managed to send any sort of man-made object. Some of the only things that uh, rival that would be the Voyager probes, which have passed beyond the limits of the solar system. But in this case, this is the furthest away that they've ever managed to control an object. And that's no small feat. The transmission itself takes 20 minutes to get from Earth to the probe, then 20 minutes to get back or to hear anything from the probe. So you're talking about a 40-minute delay, which means you can't actually control it. Most of this had to be done via automation. But that's a pretty big deal because it's showing that they're able to manufacture and control probes at massive distances. Now, why is that important? Moving beyond the NASA science experiments in the short terms, as space flight becomes cheaper, and we're seeing a lot of private and free market projects to try to do exactly that, the ability to reach distant objects and probe them for materials, possibly for human use in the future, becomes more of a realistic possibility. And the ability to control your probe or possibly even mining equipment in the distant future becomes a critical issue. Now, moving back to what's being determined here, NASA has a few possible vested interests in this asteroid. One, it's a near-Earth asteroid, which means that NASA wants to be able to track its trajectory properly in case it ever gets any nearer and they have to start making plans for can you redirect it. But in other news, finding out what this thing is made of allows you to understand better how the Earth and how the universe itself was formed around the time of the Big Bang to present. And what materials are out there and what possible use they might be for human civilization moving forward. Okay, fascinating. Thank you very much, uh, Ariel, for that. That's all we have time for. Uh, and uh, no, actually, maybe we have time for, for one more question. Ariel, why was that probe chosen specifically? Why was that, sorry, that, that, that little uh, planet, what do you call it, asteroid? That little asteroid, I guess. Why was that specifically chosen? So the big reason here is that this asteroid is primarily made of carbon-based material. And when NASA wants to understand organic chemistry, it comes down to complex carbon molecules, because that is the big secret. How did life come from base material? And the secret of carbon molecules and carbon chains is the secret and the answer. If they can figure out some of the details on this, maybe they can get closer to answering where life came from.